So as I said, if a man and a woman comes together and have sexual intercourse, the woman or the female partner produces the XX chromosomes. So the sperms that a woman produces contains the XX sperms, which represents the girl child. And the sperm that a man produces, it contains the X and Y chromosomes, whereby X is a female or a girl child and Y is a male or a boy child. So when X, this X, the X sperm, X chromosome from a woman joins with the Y chromosomes from the sperms of a man, they, they make XY, which is a baby boy. So when a, ma a woman produces the X chromosome and a man produces the X gain chromosome, they make, when this joins, they make X, X chromosome, which is a baby girl. So the sex determination here is done by a man because a man has the Y chromosomes, which is a baby boy. So getting a baby boy or a baby girl, here are some of the tactics to follow in order to get or to give birth or to conceive a baby boy or a girl. So before that, let's look on the characteristics. What differentiates the X chromosomes from the Y chromosomes? So the y, when I say X chromosome, I mean the female or the girl, the female sperm. So this X chromosomes, it swims in a slow motion. It swims slower as compared to the Y chromosome or the male sperm, which swims faster. Another characteristic is the X chromosomes or the female sperm is bigger in size as compared to the Y of or male sperm, which is smaller in size. That's why this male sperm swims faster than the X sperm because X sperm is bigger and Y sperm is smaller in size. The third characteristic is the X chromosome or the female sperm. It, it survives or they survive for five days at the suffix. Whereby the male sperm stays for three days before it dies. So when a man releases the sperms, the egg, the sperms for a girl child stays for a long time as compared to the sperm of the poor child. So if you need to get or to conceive a baby boy, the first tactic is, the first method is ovulation method. What do I mean by saying ovulation or by the term ovulation? Ovulation is the release of an of a mature egg from the ovary during menstru menstrual period or during menstruation in, in female. So when a woman knows that her ovulation day or day is on 20th, for example, as I said here, if your ovulation day or if your menstrual period is on date 20th and you need 
I baby boy. So here are the days one, two, three to five days. The X chromosome stays in a suffix for five days, and the Y chromosome only stays for three days. And you know that your menstrual period is on date 20. So if you need a baby boy, you need to have the sexual intercourse with your partner on the 30, 30 days before your, before your menstrual period date. So you need to have sex three days to you need to have sex three days to your menstrual period day. If you need a baby, a baby boy, you need to have sex three days to three days to your menstrual period day. There's a possibility possibility of getting a baby boy why am i saying things here we said the x the female sperm it it swims slower as compared to the y sperm which swims faster so if you have the sexual intercourse with your partner on the third the, the, the three days before your menstrual period that means this three this y sperm or the baby boy sperm is it's alive so the moment your egg you release your egg this y chromosome it will move at a high speed to get fertilized with the egg and if you need a baby girl you you need to have sex with your partner five days to your menstrual period five days five or four days to your menstrual period why am i saying this there is a probability of getting of or conceiving a baby girl if you have sex four or five days to your menstrual period because we said the Y or the female sperm it moves at a high speed but it stays for a short period of time. And this X, the female sperm, it moves in a slow motion but stays for a long period of time. So if you have a sexual intercourse with your partner, a man releases the X and Y chromosomes, these sperms will reach to the suffix and you wait for the egg to to be released for the cons to, to conceive so if the sex was five days to ovulation the y this y chromosome the y sperm will stay at the suffix for three days as we said the y or the male sperm stays for three days and it dies after three days it can't fertilize so the y sperm will stay will wait for the egg to be released for three days and it dies so when it dies so it leaves the x x or female sperm still waiting for the egg to be released so because this x it survives for five days so for these five days 
your menstrual period will start you will start releasing your menstrual period so as you release as a woman releases the egg immediately the x sperm will fertilize the will fertilize the egg and you will conceive a baby girl so in conclusion we say that if you need a baby boy you need to have a sexual intercourse 3 2 days to your menstrual period date baby boy 2 or 3 days to 2 to 3 days to your ovulation day or 2 3 days to your menstrual period day and if you need a baby girl you need to have your sexual intercourse four to five days four to five days to your ovulation day all to your menstrual period day and please notice 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 if you have if you you have this sexual intercourse four to five days to your ovulation day don't have any don't have any intercourse again until after fertilization or until after ovulation so if you have sex for five days to ovulation if you need a baby girl no sex again until after ovulation or after you have released your egg from the ovary another method 